Today's topic is stomach cancer. Stomach cancer is the growth of cancerous cells within the lining of the stomach. Stomach cancer usually develops in the mucus forming cells that line the stomach. This type is referred to as adenocarcinoma and accounts for around 90 to 95 percent of all stomach cancers. Also known as gastric cancer, stomach cancer is the fifth leading cause of cancer and the third leading cause of cancer-related death across the globe. Stomach cancer is difficult to diagnose as it doesn't cause any early symptoms. By the time symptoms occur, cancer would have reached an advanced stage and may have metastasized. Metastasis occurs when cancer spreads to other parts of the body. Stomach cancer is prevalent in East Asia and Eastern Europe and occurs twice as often in males than in females. There are four stages of stomach cancer, stage 1, 2, 3, and 4. Cancer at stage 1 is limited to the top layer of tissue lining the inside of the stomach. At stage 2, cancer has spread deeper into the muscle layer of the stomach wall. At stage 3, cancer may have grown through all the stomach layers and spread to structures surrounding the stomach. Stage 4 indicates that cancer has metastasized. Causes the stomach is an upper part of the digestive tract that is responsible for digestion and the movement of nutrients to the rest of the digestive organs become cancerous and grow out of control, forming a tumor. There are some risk factors that may predispose an individual to develop these cancerous cells. This may include H. pylori bacterial infection, smoking, stomach polyps, a diet high in salty, pickled, or smoked food, a family history of stomach cancer, lymphoma, tumors in other parts of the digestive system, long-term stomach inflammation. Symptoms Fatigue, severe frequent heartburn, nausea and occasional vomiting, abdominal discomfort, which may worsen after meals, bloody stools, loss of appetite accompanied by weight loss, constant bloating, feeling full after eating a small amount of food, jaundice. Diagnosis and treatment. The doctor will ask about your medical history to see if you have any risk factors for stomach cancer and to know if you have a family member with the disease. To make a diagnosis, your doctor may carry out one or more of the following tests. Imaging test, which may include CT scan and a special type of x-ray called barium swallow. Endoscopy test to visualize your stomach and look for signs of cancer. If any suspicious areas are found, a biopsy may be done. To check if your cancer has metastasized, exploratory surgery may be performed. Treatment Your treatment will depend on the stage of your cancer, your preferences, and your overall health. Treatment may include surgery, therapy, and medication. The goal of surgery is to remove all of the cancerous cells in the body of the stomach and some health issues. Options may include removing early stage tumors from the lining of the stomach, subtotal gastrectomy. For this, only the portion of the stomach affected is removed, total gastrectomy. For this, the entire stomach and some surrounding tissue are removed, surgery to relieve signs and symptoms. Radiation therapy and chemotherapy may also be used. These procedures are both used to kill cancer cells. Radiation therapy uses a high-powered beam of energy, such as x-rays and protons, to kill cancer cells. Chemotherapy is a drug treatment that uses chemicals to kill cancer cells. Some targeted drugs are also used for treatment. These drugs may include trastuzumab, ramucirumab, imatinib. Targeted drugs may be used in combination with chemotherapy drugs. Supportive care, which is provided by a team of doctors, nurses, and other trained professionals to help improve the quality of life for people with cancer and their families. Supportive care used with all of the appropriate treatment may help people with cancer feel better and live longer. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.